the ability to see everything in, in detail. They can imagine something before it happens. A fight, whether it be a competition, it could be uh, a sales meeting today, it could be an argument that you know you're probably going to have. To be able to really just meditate and go deep inside your mind and imagine every possible possibility, this is something that is considered like the highest level of martial arts training. I've been doing Brazilian Jiu Jitsu a very long time. There was one particular occasion where one of my favorite instructors, Josh Manso, I was using a lot of the things that he taught me and I was tapping a lot of people out. People that were higher belts, I was very surprised. Everything he showed me made things a lot easier. But every time I would roll with him or you know, fight with him, I felt like I just, there was nothing I could do. He was in complete control of the situation. He was explaining to me that in his mind, he has several hooks like with bait on it surrounding me. So no matter which hook I would try to go for, he'd always have something for me, so he could always catch me. I felt like, wow, this guy was making moves and moves and moves ahead of the game. I was just worried about, you know, surviving to the, to the next movement. So I, I think that my timing and my sense of thought and pre-planning or being able to react, just like a punch, somebody punches you, I know that I move and I'm reading them. I don't wait for them to hit me and then try to block it. So after hearing that discussion really opened my mind up to the importance of imagining and, and sitting there and planning the fight way ahead of time. One beautiful expression of this is in the movie Hero with Jet Li and Donnie Yen. They have this fantastic fight scene, but before the fight scene begins, they, they recognize each other. They know they're about to have a fight. Somebody's going to die. They have somebody play a song while they both go into deep meditation, imagining the fight. Every possible move that the opponent could do. And then when it's time to fight, they open their eyes, they run towards each other, and one shot, one of them dies. favorite book of mine is called Zen in the Martial Arts by Joe Himes and there was a karate master who was going for the world record breaking a bunch of ice slabs but instead of breaking the ice slabs he broke every bone in his arm so the doctor said you'll never be able to do that the time to heal was just really really long so he didn't like that answer he would meditate and do deep breathing and imagine a construction crew going inside of his cast with jackhammers fixing all the bones putting you know, uh, concrete on there and slapping it, but he would spend hours very detailed. He could hear the sounds, he could smell the smells. He would visualize all the people working inside his arm and he healed in half the time and he broke the world record. Let's practice a few times like this. Rock with your shoulder, right punch, okay. left punch, right punch, left punch. For me, martial arts is like the missing handbook of how to live your life into the fullest potential. So martial arts actually brings us back to having some discipline, having a plan, and as we learn all the bases and create a foundation, now we can start to visualize and evolve by using martial arts as a tool. If you look at business, they're even looking at martial art texts, for example, the Book of Five Rings, the Art of War, and they're looking at how they can take our philosophies and use it in business because every obstacle, every business sale is a fight. Life is a fight. You have these philosophies, these tools, and these strategies. What's to stop you from imagining what you can do? Thank you very much for checking out our video. Don't forget to subscribe to us on YouTube. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at Joe Keat Kung Fu. And if you're local in the Boynton Beach area, check out JoeKeatKungFu.com and join us. We hope to see you soon.